All right, guys, India roasting Pakistan! Make some noise! All right, everyone, shut up! My name is Rahul Sheikh, and these are my jokes about Pakistan. Joke one. <laughs> Pakistan, the country that puts la 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 in Islam. <laughs> Pakistan, the country where no one eats pork because the Quran forbids cannibalism. <laughs> oh, it is going to get so much more darker. <laughs> Pakistan, the country that hid Osama bin Laden, the guy responsible for answering the question, what's the most damage two aeroplanes can do? <laughs> the only thing I hate more than being called a Paki is whenever I go to a fast food restaurant like McDonald's, before I say anything, the guy behind the counter just looks at me and goes, uh, Uber Eats? I used to get mad, but now I just go yup and collect free food. <laughs> Shut up, next joke. <laughs> Pakistan, you sack of shit. Pakistanis love having candlelight dinners because they don't have any electricity. That's a stupid joke. They don't have any food either. <laughs> Not a lot of people know this, but Pakistan was only named Pakistan because Hungary was already taken. <laughs> Contrary to popular belief, not every Pakistani hates India. Some of them punch women. But most of them do both, like Ali Hassan. <laughs> Ali Hassan looks like a thumb. <laughs> No one knows this, but Ali Hassan hosts a stand-up comedy show on CBC Radio. And much like Pakistan, it's a bunch of people bombing one after another. <laughs> the only difference being, instead of the 72 versions, the comedians get Ali Hassan for an hour. <laughs> Chapter 2. <laughs> Things get real. <clears throat> a lot of people think India is unsafe for women. Not true at all. India is equally unsafe for children, too. <laughs> Boom! Self-roast! Gang, gang! <laughs> Pakistan, the country where women proudly wear burqas to hide signs of domestic abuse. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> Pakistan is to world peace what Doug Ford is to sex education. Doug Ford is to sex education what Pakistan is to gay rights. <laughs> yep, the only thing worse than being born gay in Pakistan is being born Native American in Canada. <laughs> because at least Pakistan has the decency to kill the people they hate. <laughs> to Pakistan's credit, in 2018, they did celebrate their first Pride Parade by beheading a gay guy. <laughs> that's not a joke, that's an actual headline. <laughs> Epilogue. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> My name is Rahil Sheikh. And since its suppression in 1947, Pakistan has started and lost all four wars against India costing thousands of lives, and yet refuses to learn a lesson, and continues to fuck with our borders. <laughs> Proving once and for all, you can take a horse to the water, but retards will always do retarded things. <laughs> Thank you. Rahil Sheikh, India, roasting Pakistan. Good first shot, all right guys. Time for the counter. Ali Hassan, Pakistan, roasting India. Make some noise! All right, first of all, first of all, a lot of that shit was true. A lot of, he, he got me on a couple of those things, but listen, listen. What happens when you see a shitty child misbehaving? What do you say? Who's the mother of that child? Who is the mother of that shitty child? Well, guess 
which vagina we crawled out of 71 years ago. Your stinky vagina, not you, you're the country you come from, you probably have one as well. <laughs> India created us, and Indians love to brag about their son. They love to, he's a medical doctor. No, he's taken one year of biology. Calm the fuck down, auntie. You don't brag about us. You don't brag about Pakistan, why? Because you done fucked up, mom. You done fucked up. I might be a wayward son, but that one's on you. Um, you came in hot. You came in pretty hot, Rahil. I came here with some respect. You know, I even wore these rust-colored shoes in honor of the color of your mother's teeth. Fawn uh, Prog, look it up, disgusting. Um, that's for like five people here, all right. Uh, I'm happy to see you. I'm happy to see you here. I'm happy to see you doing this work. Rahil being here right now is proof that the Indian caste system isn't working anymore, huh? <laughs> An untouchable getting some Brahmin work? Come on, this is amazing. I'm very proud of you. Uh, India has been referred to as the birthplace of speech by Mark Twain. Uh, why do you speak like your mom fucked Sean Connery? What is that all about? Where did that... The first time I met Rahil, he had just, he was getting deported. He was getting deported. That's the first time I met him. This is what he said. Guys, guys, they're sending me back home. They're sending me back home. That was the first thing I ever heard out of your mouth. Then we let him back. Do we not have any fucking immigration standards in this country? Now I'm roasting Canada. Fuck this country also for letting you back in. Not only did they let him back in, they've let you become an actor. An actor! Every time I turn on the television, this guy's doing a subway ad. Huh? Dish, fresh. What the fuck are you doing? He... This guy is stealing jobs from honest, hardworking Pakistan Canadians, and we need to... Oh, talking about. Facts about India. All right. India is where shampoo was invented and apparently all exported <laughs> in favor of mustard oil, which Rahul Sheikh has got in his hair right now. Nice one, bud. The moon. Moon exploration, I gotta give it to India. Moon exploration, they were the ones, 2009, discover water on the moon. A lot of experience with the moon in India, because if you've ever been to India, first thing in the morning, you open the window, what do you see? What, fucking 75 moons of men taking a shit on the street? You are the experts. You are the experts and you deserved that recognition. India, first country to consume sugar and taught others how to cultivate it. Thanks for the diabetes, assholes. Yay, all right, interesting. Cows, cows big deal in India, right? It's always, if we see a cow, we drive around it. If we see a cow on a menu, we don't eat it. If we see a cow lonely, we caress its testicles. There's always some fucking shit about cows. <laughs> Did you know that uh, India has the, it is the largest producer of milk, over 150 million tons of milk produced in India. Did you also know that India is the largest population of people with lactose intolerance. The cows fucking hate you. Take a hint, India. Move on. All right, final thing. Uh, Indians are very proud. I feel they have a lot to be proud of. Right now, Bohemian Rhapsody is out. A lot of pride. Freddie Mercury, Indian. Ben Kingsley, Indian. Listen, Freddie Mercury, also known as Farooq Bulsara, couldn't wait to shake that Indian coat off and become Freddie Mercury. Ben Kingsley, also known as Krishna Pandit Panji. How many people refer to him as that? Nobody, he was like, call me Ben. I'm getting the fuck out of this country. Even Priyanka Chopra left India. She's like, I'm marrying a Jonas just so I can stay here. I don't want anything to do with that fucking place. India, all you are left with, all you are left with to be proud of is a 26 year old overweight virgin <laughs> failed engineer who is coming here and stealing jobs. And even he left India. Way to go, India, way to go. Thank you. Ali Hassan, roasting India. Nobody died, that's a minor miracle.
Let's put that back on there. All right, guys, moment of truth. Make some noise if you like Pakistan. Thank you. Whoa. Thank you. Yeah. Make some noise if you like India. Oh! Oh! India wins another one. What a shame. What's going what on? Goddamn another war. Fantastic. Guys, give it up one more round. Huge, huge.